It's Cosmo and the Water 7 Morning Show. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Surgical oncologist Emily Albright from MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center is here with some important information for you women. Uh, what advice would you have for women about getting screened for breast cancer? First, I'd recommend all women start screening with annual mammography at age 40. Mammograms are the gold standard to breast cancer screening. What also is important to know is you don't need a physician's order to get breast cancer screening. You can call Alice Fischel, and they'll be happy to make you an appointment. And another good idea, obviously, too, to talk to your primary care physician, right, to, to ask questions, get some answers? Yes, definitely talking to your primary care doctor is recommended as there's a variety of recommendations for breast cancer screening. Who is most at risk for breast cancer, and how can someone lessen their risk. So first of all, the first two risk factors you can't change, and that's by being a woman and getting older every year. There are modifiable risk factors for breast cancer. First, avoiding excess alcohol. Second, getting regular exercise. And finally, maintaining a healthy weight. Family history also plays a role in breast cancer risk, and it's important to know your family history and how it affects you. Surgical oncologist Emily Albright is here with us from MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center. Emily, let me ask you, what is the main thing that sets Ellis Fischel Cancer Center apart when it comes to helping women fight breast cancer? I think the main thing is our multidisciplinary approach. This involves physicians, nurses, rehab, genetics, all working together to develop a cancer treatment plan for patients. Part of being a multidisciplinary approach is our weekly tumor board meetings where all involved physicians gather together and review a patient's case. And that includes their imaging studies, their pathology, and treatment plans from all the specialties, such as surgery, medical oncology, and radiation oncology. Our clinical trials coordinators are also there, which help screen patients for potentially trials that they would be eligible for. Emily, if someone is diagnosed with breast cancer, How does Ellis Fischel ensure the best possible care? First, I think we have physicians that have specialized training in breast surgery, breast medical oncology, and radiation oncology. The other aspect is we have nurse and patient navigators that help coordinate the care of the patient. Many of our patients travel from quite a distance, and they're coordinating some appointments here at Ellis, back with their physicians closer to home to make sure we have good communication and there are no hiccups or bumps along the road for the patients. Also, we try to maintain the highest standards, and that's evidenced by being an accredited both breast and cancer center. This morning, uh, it's been a pleasure to be talking with Emily Albright, a surgical oncologist with MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center. You know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we've talked about some very important things. How have some of the advances in breast cancer treatment provided more hope for those diagnosed with breast cancer, Emily? We've come to realize that breast cancer isn't one disease, but there are a variety of subtypes of breast cancer that behave differently, and they also respond differently to treatment. So it's a matter of finding out exactly what kind of breast cancer a patient has and what treatment's going to be most effective for that patient. Sometimes that involves chemotherapy. Sometimes that involves special testing of the tumor to determine their response to chemotherapy. We've also gotten more advanced in understanding a patient's risk in terms of genetic testing of getting a second breast cancer when we look at their treatment. For more information on how MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center is moving breast cancer care forward, go to muhealth.org slash breast.